in this screencast video lecture we are going to see the points related with the second practical that is isolation of azospirillum species from the roots of the grasses first we look at what is azospirillum azospirillum is a plant growth promoting organism a bacteria it's a gram negative bacteria which commonly lives in the soil and they can able to promote the plant growth it is an associative symbiotic it is not a completely free living whereas it is commonly referred as a associative symbiotic organism that is they are found in association there with the plant roots and surviving there if you look at where they could be found azospirilla are commonly found in large numbers in the tropical soils especially in in association with the roots they won't be present just in the soil adavadhu root kuda root mela da kaamana you can able to identify an azospirilla azospirilla is commonly used as a bio fertilizer it can be applied to the different kinds of crops in which it can able to enhance the various mechanism of the plant growth say for example these are all the different modes in which azospirilla can improve the plant growth increase in photosynthetic pigments induce systemic resistance drought resistance it produce lot of plant growth hormones it reduces the ph of the soil which in turn helps in the phosphorus solubilization and the first and foremost thing which i forget to say and i am narrating all of that the first thing is the nitrogen fixation it is the one which has a capability to fix huge amount of nitrogen when it is found associated there with the roots of the plants we look at the other points related to the azospirillum azospirillum belongs to the phylum proteobacteria and class alpha proteobacteria order rhodospirilles and rhodospirilles family with the genus azospirillum it is commonly referred as a plant growth promoting rhizobacteria it is isolated from the rhizosphere of many grasses na modale sonna mari grasses la dhan adhigama irukku and the cereals that have been occurring all over the world mainly in the tropical region other than they have told that in tropical soil it is present in more remote the first azospirillum isolated is named as azospirillum lipoferum azospirillum are gram negative free living or associative symbiotic nitrogen fixing rhizosphere bacteria adavadhu soil la free avum vaalum or associately present there with the roots kaamana we will be studying in the soil and agriculture microbiology as a associative symbiotic nitrogen fixing organism under a nutrient depletion condition usually the azospirilla cells will be changing that is under a desiccation and a nutrient limitation the cells of the azospirilla which are commonly present as a plumpy rod like or comma like cells will be converted into cyst like forms this morphological change will be accompanied by accumulation of a lot of polyhydroxy granules also in the cells so a normal comma shaped plumpy cells of azospirillum will be converted now into a enlarged cyst like forms currently there are some 24 different kinds of azospirillum have been existing so these are the list of azospirilla that have been documented there in the literature among them some azospirillum have been changed into their name that is based on certain other studies they have been changed for example azospirillum amazonas it has been changed as nitrospirillum amazonas and another important feature which you all need to observe here is most of these azospirillum that have been isolated are from the root regions see root of wheat root of rhizosphere of soil root of color grass root of rhizosphere roots of graminaceous plant and roots of rhizosphere rhizosphere of corn plants so they are all commonly found in the root region or in the rhizosphere regions of the plant so in total currently 22 different kinds of azospirillum have been existing there in the literature now we look at into some more points related to their morphological features as i already told the normal cells will be plumpy slightly curved and st straight rod like appearance also the spiral movement is the one which would be exhibited by most of the azospirillum and that is a, again a important characteristic feature that helps in identifying the right organism this spiral movement you can able to look at in a hanging drop technique one polar flagellum is synthesized during the growth in a liquid medium and it's primarily used in the swimming sometime additional 
lateral flagella were also induced during the growth when they are growing in a solidified media this help in the swarming movement of the bacteria especially over the solid surface when the azospirilla are grow on a n free malic acid media that is nitrogen free malic acid media they will be showing a whitish pink headed like colonies the last point is they positively exhibit hemotaxis that is movement towards certain chemicals such as organic acids, sugars, amino acids and aromatic compound as well as this is the one which helps in the movement of the azospirulin towards the root exudates there in the soil system. Now we look at the media composition for the N-free malic acid media that is also referred as a Dobriner's N-free malic acid media. I have given the composition there. Some important points we will discuss here. The carbon source here that is required for their growth is malic acid. And we are not providing any nitrogen. The reason is nitrogen is going to be fixed by the organism itself. Then another important thing you need to remember when you are preparing this media is you have to add bromothymol blue. That is a 0.5 percentage alcoholic solution of a bromothymol blue need to be prepared and it need to be added. And I have given the point here in the another color that is semi-solid medium. Most of the isolation will be carried out in the semi-solid based N-free malic acid media for obtaining the azospirulum. So you need to understand what is a semi-solid medium. It is having a 1.8 gram per liter of media. Whereas if it is of a solid medium, it will be 20 grams per liter. That is agar addition. Okay. Very small amount of agar is added to bring the media to a semi-solid condition. Whereas in solid media, you will be adding a considerable amount of agar to keep the media in a highly solidified condition. When you are going for a mass production, commonly trace amount of ammonium chloride will be used mainly to facilitate the growth of the organism. The points I have given here in the pink is related with how you are going to adjust the pH of the medium. This may be better demonstrated there in the practical session. When you actually prepare for the things, I will try to come and demonstrate the thing. The next part is, these are the three different pH which you need to remember while we are working in a azospirilla. When after addition of this bromothymol blue, you will be able to get three different kinds of pH. That is straw yellow color pH which indicates the acidic condition of the medium. Actually, before inoculation of the culture, you need to maintain the medium in a straw yellow color that is in the acidic pH. So, in that particular pH alone, the azospirilla will start growing at a very faster rate. After the growth of the azospirillum, the media color will change from straw yellow to green color and finally to blue color. This indirectly indicates that the azospirilla that have been growing there is fixing a lot of ammonia. The ammonia is the one which induces the alkaline condition there in the media. In this last part, we look at what is a simple working protocol on which you can able to isolate the azospirilla. So you can first collect the roots and wash in tap water. Then the roots are cut into small bit like structures as shown here. You can cut the roots into small bits. Then the roots are need to be sterilized there with a 0.5 percent sodium hypochlorite. This is the old method. Now you can go for sterilizing it with a hydrogen peroxide or even with a 70 percentage of a ethanol itself sufficient to sterilize. And further surface sterilized with the 70% of ethanol, wash with sterilized distilled water for at least 3 times. So after washing finally with the uh, ethanol, you are adding distilled water to remove any traces of ethanol present there in the surface of the roots. Then this root bits have been transferred there to the media. That is N-free malic acid semi-solid media that has been prepared and kept in the test tubes. So here you can able to see two test tubes that have been shown. The one in the left hand side is the control which shows again the straw yellow pH which indicates the acidic pH. Whereas one in the right side is the one you can able to see the root bits have been added there to the N3 malic acid media and the simple indication of the azospirillum growth can be attributed to these two points. One is the change in the pH that leads to change in the color of the medium from a straw yellow to blue color. And the next one is appearance of certain 
subsurface white pellicles. So this subsurface white pellicles indicating the growth of azospirillum. Actually what is pellicle? Pellicle is a cellulose like fibrils that are formed during the growth of this kind of a nitrogen fixing organisms. If you look at in this image also you can able to find a lot of nitrogen fixing organisms showing a subsurface pellicle growth. So after two days inoculation what kind of pellicles can be found and after seven days of inoculation how the pellicle is changing. See here with reference to the azospirillum all you can able to see that the change in the color of the media. After seeing this pellicle only they will be taking the sample and again streaking back into the N-free malic acid solid agar plates in which you can able to find a pinheaded types of colonies. So after growth of this complete thing from there they will take and subculture there in the plate in which you can able to find the pinheaded colonies. So this pellicle that are made up of cellulose microfibrils main function is to lower the oxygen level that reaches into the cell surface allowing the cell to get optimum level of oxygen concentration alone for fixing the nitrogen. Why this particular property is discussed here is the enzyme that is required for nitrogen fixation that is nitrogenase is a completely anaerobic enzyme or it function under anaerobic condition whereas the organism is of a aerobic in nature. So for organisms metabolism and other things or oxygen is essentially required whereas oxygen is the one which is not required for the functioning of the nitrogenase enzyme. That is the reason why this nitrogenase related activity starting in the organism they will be only present in the subsurface region and not in the surface where they may be exposed to a high concentration of oxygen. And finally we look at into some of the previous year students your seniors practical works what that have been documented earlier. So if you look at there the plate that have been shown there in the left hand side in one half you can able to see the straw yellow color that is a controlled region in which the bacteria is not growing whereas the other portion is the one in which they have streaked the azospirillum. You can able to see a pin headed colonies that have been arising there. In the center one is the one which shows the enrichment of the azospirillum that have been collected there from the grassroots. So you can able to see the slight color change there from a straw yellow to green color there in the center. The third image is completely related to again subculturing of the azospirillum there in another media that is mainly in a R2A agar. There also you can able to see the pinheaded white colonies of azospirillum growing on the plate. If you look at there in the left hand side you can able to see the good growth of azospirillum there in one tube that is showing a greenish color change whereas the control which is present just as a straw yellow color. This is again an image that have been recorded during the documentation efforts of the batch of 2015 students. You can able to see the color change there in the media after addition of the root bits there. So the root bits have been shown there in the top side and the color change is taking place there from the subsurface region which clearly indicates the growth of the azospirillum.